In this next section, we're going to be looking at the concept of social development and how this model for society can help improve people's life opportunities. Social development is about putting people at the center of development. Since the 1990s, there's been a growing recognition that social development is critical for broader development outcomes, including sustainable economic growth. Social development is about improving the well-being of every individual in society so they can reach their full potential. The success of society is linked to the well-being of each and every citizen. The idea stems from a core belief that society does not exist outside the individual, but rather within each member of society as a collective group. The concept of social development was a contribution of sociologist and political theorist Leonard Trelawney Hobhouse, who was one of the earliest proponents of social liberalism. Social development means investing in people. It requires the removal of barriers so that all citizens can journey toward their dreams with confidence and dignity. It's about refusing to accept that people who live in poverty will always be poor. It's about helping people so they can move forward on their path to self-sufficiency. Because one's individual development is so dependent on their environment, social development assumes that the individual cannot fully develop and realize their potential unless the barriers to do that are dismantled and the proper resources can be accessed. Social development recognizes that the social institutions and the structures must be put into place to allow for the full development of everyone in society. A key issue is social justice, which focuses on assuring that the distribution of wealth, opportunities, and privileges within a society are fairly and justly allocated. Social justice can also be defined as a virtue of moral philosophy, which relies on the concept of creating a society that's founded on equality and solidarity. Social development can be categorized into three separate but related efforts. The first ties social development together with economic development. Social development includes economic development but is not limited to growth in the economic realm. Others see social development primarily as it relates to structural changes in society. Social development is then a strategy towards bringing about changes within structures such as health care and education that are not adequately serving society. The third main issue of social development relates to individual human lives and potential, similar to Hobhouse's definition. Because the concept of racial justice and the obstacles involved are multidimensional, there are multiple means that are essential to achieving it. Some theorists define the efforts towards social justice as having three goals. The first goal is to address racial domination intelligently. This intelligence has less to do with people's IQ and more to do with their ability to practice good judgment in a society full of uncertainty. People must be influenced by logic, rational decision making, and good sense rather than self-interest or ignorance when deciphering information about race. The second goal is embracing racial justice. Racial dominance has been a central feature of American society. Therefore, most individuals are comfortable with racial injustice. The idea that racial dominance can be eliminated and that racial justice can prevail may seem unfair but still also impossible to eliminate. However, many believe that the situation can at least be improved and that we should be striving towards that. The third goal for achieving social well-being and racial justice is creating a society that values multiculturalism and pluralism. Multiculturalism refers to the equal coexistence of various cultural forms of life within one community, and pluralism refers to the practice of independent cultural traditions in non-white communities.
When the concept of social development became embraced for a model of global development and hopes of better equality and prosperity for the world's people, the idea was tied to economic development. Initially, in the 1960s, leaders in social development felt that economic development would naturally lead to more societal equality and then, of course, better opportunities of education, health care, and racial justice outcomes. Because the U.S. was a leader in economic growth, the sentiment was that the U.S. should be a model. However, it's clear that social development and racial justice have not been achieved in the U.S., and now theories assume that economic development does not necessarily lead to social development and racial justice. <laughs>